Hey, what's up everyone? Troy here with Restoring Eating. Going to do a quick fruit review of the Chilean guava, um, also new, known as, uh, and I'll butcher this, Ugni Muleni, something like that. Um, in other parts of the world, it's known as the Tazi Berry, uh, but it's a very unique fruit. And this is the tree right here. This is a young guy. He was just planted out here this year, but it's a really cool, really cool shrub that grows maybe four to six feet in height and in width eventually. Um, you know, right when I walked by it, it just had this beautiful heavenly scent, uh, strawberries and uh, tropical uh, smell to it. And so I'm, I'm really excited to be growing this. It's really not that well known in America, even though it's been known around the world for some time, at least in England, Queen Victoria was said to have loved this fruit. Um, but here in North America, it, we just don't, it, it's new. And, um, and so I want to give it a try. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Here's what they look like. Beautiful fruit, about the size of a cranberry. And I just picked a handful of them. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful sweetness. Really good flavor. It's very much like a strawberry. Um, oh, and it has kind of this bubble gum flavor to it. Everyone I've given these to has really loved them and has purchased the plant. There's something just so unique about this. And um, it's, it has a high level of pectin, and so it can be used as jams and preserves and in liqueurs, stuff like that. Um, also, it could be really cool on top of pancakes or in pancakes, that sort of thing. And they're just wonderful, uh, eaten fresh. High sugar content, very, very unique herbal, uh, floral flavor and aroma to them. It's not something you've tried before. Um, also, the leaves can be used to make a really cool tea as well. If you, if you try the leaf, it tastes like the fruit just without the sugar. So I've always advocated for the Chilean guava and I highly recommend it in the garden as an evergreen plant, an evergreen fruit, um, as well as for its, its great food value. Um, one thing to be noted though, it is really just hardy down to zone eight roughly 15 degrees or so. There is a more cold hardy version, which we do have available right now. Um, well, we were, are going to have available, and that is arguably hardy uh, to another half zone or so. So maybe, you know, 10 degrees or seven degrees. But right now we just have the, the standard Chilean guava, as we call it, and it's already down to 15. So I would put it in a more sheltered place in the garden, but um, nonetheless, great plant to take a look at. All right, there you guys go. Thanks.